Well, it's the next day, the next week for you. Uh, welcome to Burn Sea Fishing, and uh, I'm at Sutton on Sea. Yeah, I'm at Sutton on Sea, and uh, yeah, someone behind me. I feel a bit of a now. Anyhow, I'm at Sutton on Sea, like I said I was yesterday. Yesterday I blanked yet again, so I've come to the beach. Sutton on Sea, on the Lincolnshire coast, and today we're going to get a fish. Um, just picked up some more bait from Dud, and he said the beaches aren't doing anything this week. Um, it's only Tuesday, so he must have meant, meant last week. And uh, But I've just travelled an hour and 25 minutes here to get here and uh, I find out from the man that knows that they aren't doing anything but we're going to get a fish I'm not going to let that grind me down even though I'm getting ground down so we've got a free up flapper on there with black lug and squid there the other rod is out let's get this casted out Oh. Well, I casted that out a bit gingerly because um, because uh, I had some may rot round the line. And I probably have to clean it off because I'd had trying to spill the line. So uh, I need to hold you on that left hand side. There's quite a few people walking about here, but it's very uh, it's nice. I've come down the far end, so I'm out of the way of people and dogs. But there's still dogs about. No, all dogs are all dogs are good. It's just sometimes they piss up your gear. So uh, yeah, blank yesterday. I did have some good bites, which I got a bit excited about. But that's me. You know, I don't have a lot to get excited about fishing. So when I get a bite, I got excited at the yellow cross. Lee, who I was fishing with, he caught a, a an eel, and. Um, he also lost another fish, which could have been an eel or a flounder. I thought it looked like a flounder because it was a big white belly. So, um, yeah, let's hope I catch something. I've come all the way here and forgot my lights, so I've got to walk back to the van and get my lights. But when it cleared there and so many people, I'll check my uh, drags and nip back to the van. Yeah, let's hope we get some. You know, it's a bit of pressure builds up on you when you keep blanking and filming it. But there, I've I film every fishing trip because fishing trip for me is a uh, quite a trek. You know, 
hour and 20 minutes, 50 minutes, you know. It's not as if you'll live beside the coast. And I can go out fishing in blank three times and then post the, the fourth fishing trip up. That'd be really nice. I'd appreciate that. But I can't do that, so... I'm going to try and bring you a fish, people. I would say guys, but I think it's a bit, a bit wrong to say that. So, uh, yeah. I want to bring you a fish. I want to catch a fish. But uh, stick with me. Stick with me. Because uh, I will get one. But I've had... This is now my third fishing trip. Well, it's Tuesday today. I fished yesterday, which was obviously Monday. I fished Thursday, the previous week, and the Tuesday. And all I've got to show for it is uh, a couple of dabs, and one of them fell off me hook. But I'm still here, aren't I? I'm still here, and I'm still going. I'm not letting it beat me. I've come here because I've always wanted to fish something on sea. But that was down near all the beach huts. But I found this place part of it and it's a bit more a bit more secluded so Yeah. Let's hope we'll get something. I'm dying to get a fish. I'd said that there's bass. They're at they've been catching bass but it's just quietened off. Ugh. The uh, blood just drained down into me boots when he said that. So I've cast one out short. And I've hit one out about 90 yards. That's how we get a fish, eh? Wish me luck. The drought has got to stop, hasn't it, so... Well, we've got the light. I'm back to the rods that I use off the beach. I was going to bring my Vaselli rods and use the reels, but you can guarantee that you don't have no problems with these reels at the moment. So I'm fishing these pens. I can fish them with my Vaselli's, but I brought these uh, Shakespeare's K2 Extremes down. Well, they call them the Black Extreme Beach Caster. But everybody calls them the K2 Extreme, so they must have bought out a K1, and they're just classing these as this. But you can't buy these. Well, you can still get these rods, but once they're gone, they'll be gone. So, yeah, fishing them too, fishing the reels. I've got plenty of bait. Well, I ain't opening that up, it can't be asked. Plenty of bait, I've got um, oil black lug, frozen black lug, squid, and I even bought a bit of mackerel. So, I've got one O hook, no I haven't, on these rigs now I've got three O hooks. Yeah, I think I've got three hooks on both. I've got a three hook flapper on the right end rod, and on the left end rod, I've just got a cod rig with a 301. Just put it, if there's a flounder or something out, well, I'm not expecting to catch a flounder here, really. But if it's a flat, flat fish here, really, I'll pick it up. Beautiful. Beautiful, calm sea. Little bit of a swell. Just breaking onto the beach. I think that's a pipe up there from a drain, I'm not sure. But yeah, you see the three ships. Don't know if you can see them down there, but there's three ships down there. Uh, there's another ship out there and what they're actually doing is they're actually sucking sand they're actually sucking sand off the beaches in Norfolk out at sea obviously um, probably ruining the habitat there 
to then pump it up on this beach to for sea defences um, to ruin these beaches of all the clay beds and everything that used to be here because th this beach well definitely down Hutoff and Mog's Eye I don't know about this one but Hutoff and Mog's Eye where they're actually doing the work they've obviously done it here um, there used to be a lot of clay and you'd get clay beds everywhere and uh, crabs used to love it because obviously they used to bury down in it shell life you know all sorts of things was living there and there was obviously lots of fish there's still is fish down there but I think that they're ruining the beaches I think they're changing how they are to build up the sea defence and I think they're doing the sea defence wrong I think they should put those granite pylons out into the sea like a breaker um, and just put the sand on the beach from somewhere else See, this sand here is also very coarse. Um, you can see it here, perhaps. Very coarse, and apparently crabs don't like coarse sand because it, when it gets under the shells and stuff, it irritates them. So Dud was telling me, and he never finds hardly any crabs down here now at all. And obviously he used, he used to sell them. He still does sell them, he has to get them from somewhere else now. So yeah, they're doing it. Apparently it's possibly the last year they're going to pump sand up here and they might go to these granite groins. But this is a contract, apparently. Don't quote me on it, it's one, only what Dud was telling me. It's a contract that people in Holland, some company in Holland has had for the last 10 years, pumping sand up. And uh, where they're pumping it out near the wash, Apparently they've ruined, they've ruined all the beds there for seashells as well. So He used to be a seashell fisherman and that, so he should know. But yeah, I suppose that's uh, how things are done now, isn't it? But last time I went to Mog's Eye, the beach was lifeless. It was just clean sand. There was nothing living there at all. There was even a bloke went down there to uh, bait pumps and black lug up. And... Uh, he had a walk about and there was nothing there and he went. But let's keep the fingers crossed. They're still pulling bass out, so there must be something there, isn't there? That was just a bit of info. If I've been told it, then uh, I'm going to tell someone else about it. That's how it is. If anybody knows any better, let me know. You know, I'm not here stating that this is it and that's the truth. It's just what I've been told. But I have fished at Mog's Eye and it's, it, was, it was terrible. I remember being at Mog's Eye 15 years ago and when the tide went out to low water you could walk out and you was actually walking on clay beds. There was clay beds there and there was great big round stumps in the ground in them clay beds and apparently those stumps are from old trees that used to go from here many millennia ago all the way across to Europe. It was when we used to have the forest and we were joined the land to Europe. Thank God we aren't now, but there. And those those stumps were still visible. So I remember used to walk walking on them, shooting my kids it. But you, when I was last at Mugs Eye, you couldn't see any anything like that. There was no clay beds, no stumps, nothing, just just sand. So what am I going to catch tonight, do you think? I oh, know. I'll probably blank. And now, I know I'm wasting my time. But that's not the way to look at it, is it? Got to get better sometime. And there's got to be a fish about somewhere. And uh, tonight's the night I'm going to catch one. So I'll be back in a bit. 
ready for the next exciting installment of Vern Sea Fishing. There's no bait on it, so uh, that means there's crabs out there. That's been out, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. We'll stick a full squid on it. If there's crabs out there, that means there's possibly could be smooth hounds.
put a full squid on that and uh, whipped it on. I've got a two-hook flat rope because uh, not so much baiting up to do as a three-hook. If there's uh, a shoal of fish moving on me, whether it be smooth hound or turbot or dogfish, yeah, whatever it is, I'll put the three-hook flat back out. I'll have it in reserve uh, because obviously if there's a shoal of fish come in, I want to maximise. There's a tip for you. I want to maximise my uh, catching capabilities but until I pinpoint where these fish are I think I'll stick to a two hook flapper uh, reason being is not so much baiting up to do now watching my last video <clears throat> which is the one after lockdown I noticed that when the sun's up there it's better for me to squint than me to have the camera around pointing at the sun because you get a load of rays um, showing up on the lens so uh, I've learnt that and I also learnt when I'm laying on the river fence at the river and it's windy that if the wind's blowing in one particular direction then I should lay between the wind and my camera because as soon as I laid in front of the camera with my wind blowing on with the wind blowing on the, my back um, you couldn't hear the wind it went all quiet so you're always learning, aren't you? Whether you're learning in filming or learning uh, at fishing, like I say, go down to a two-up flapper and uh, pinpoint the fish and maximise with a three-up flapper. There's a tip for you. I guarantee you'll catch more fish, but it'll save your bait. I had a quiver on my rod then, that was exciting. I could be in for a storm at night tonight, couldn't I? It could be fish after fish, couldn't it? I mean, tides come in quite a lot already. If 
think high tide tonight's at 20 past nine, I think. So it's going to be a late one. It's going to be 20 past 11 by the time I start packing up, probably. I could have come here all afternoon and I could have fished out and fished back. Um, but last time I did that, I was knackered. I think there's another chap turned up to fish. He's looking. And a teenager. Don't want any teenagers. Anyhow, I'll be back in a bit. Show you all my fish. I've reeled in and cast that again. There's no wind at all there. Just, well, it's a slight breeze. It's it's better hair than uh, what it said it would be on the weather. So, uh, quids in there. Sun's going down. That's a shame. But it looks there's hundreds of feet, thousands of foot feet footprints in the sand. So there's been loads of people walking up and down there today. There's been people with bare feet, people in shoes. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if I'd want to have been there during the day. I've reeled in. Um, I didn't have anything on those hooks. So there is some crab action out there. When I reeled the left hand rod in, I thought, oh Jesus, I've got May rot on the line. Don't tell me it's going to be like that all night. Because it'd be a short video. And uh, it was the May rot that I casted out. So that's off now. But yeah, I'll give you a show around. <coughs> that's towards Sutton on Sea. There's the fish and lightsabers. I'm just not much of a ninja. <laughs> uh, bloody ninja. Jesus, not much of a Jedi. But there, let's hope we catch something on them rods. And then down there, you go down as far as you can see, and then round the corner and you're at off. So I'm only, I'm only up a bit from Hut Off. I'm sandwiched between Hut Off and Mablethorpe, I think, or Ingemels. Yeah, Hut Off and Ingemels. Or is it the other way? No, oh, Hut Off and Mablethorpe. That'll do. The problem I've got, the problem I've got is that I've banged in loads of fishing trips because one. I hope it don't happen, but we might go into lockdown again. Or they might put different regions into lockdown. It's quite good in Lincolnshire at the minute, so uh, as good as it can be. So hopefully that ain't going to happen, because obviously my daughter started back at work today, and uh, I don't want anything to go wrong with that, because she needs to work. And um, the sun's going down now. Not see the sunset because obviously there's a sand dune there and the golf course the other side. So, um, yeah, so I've crammed a load of fishing trips in, and obviously, if the fish aren't about and it's a bit of a, a bleak week, let's call it, um, I've picked the wrong bloody week, including the wrong day to fish enter. So, uh, but that's the way it is. I don't come here to fish to film even though there's a little bit of pressure sometimes when you don't catch. I can fish, I just think that if I keep blanking, people will think I'm a right dope. So, um, yeah, so if I pick the wrong week, I pick the wrong week, but I've been fishing. I've told you all the days I've been fishing. But um, now I've got some films in the bank for Tom to edit. Um, I can really try and pick my tides, wind, weather, you know, and uh, try and utilise. But I mean, that's what I've done tonight, to be honest. 
It's a south southeasterly going on to east wind, which they say is good for you, but as you can hear, there's hardly any wind at all. I think it's about a six mile an hour wind. So uh, I don't think that's going to affect the fishing. It's warm. Sea's probably too calm. But then, if it's fish out there, and they're hungry, they'll bite them hooks, won't they? If the crabs have left any meat on. So yeah, so probably a, mis an, a mistake I might have made is by uh, doing loads of fishing trips, but I just felt as though I had to get some trips in. Rods keep tapping, which I presume is the crabs picking, picking the meat off. So, I'll probably get cold now that sun go down, won't it? I brought my coat. So, uh, yeah, I might have made a mistake with doing all them videos. I have did catching one of them. Yeah, it's not, don't, not good, is it? But I was fishing with Lee yesterday at Yellow Cross, which is last week's video, and uh, I weren't doing anything different, really. So what Lee was doing, I was using the same type of bait, black lug and squid. Uh, Lee tried some crab, and that didn't catch, so he went back to black lug and squid. I tried black lug and squid, tried squid, tried some... Uh, Heron with black lug, but then went back onto black lug and squid and catch a thing. You just have to be there, don't you? I was talking to Dud when I got my bait, and he said that his mate called him up once. And uh, when he turned up, his mate hadn't caught anything. Dud then pulled out five bass, and his mate still didn't catch anything. So his mate asked him to cast his rod out, so he cast his rod out and his mate still didn't catch. So it don't, you know, it's the luck of the draw. You, you've, you've got to have the fish out there in front of you, haven't you? But what you do need to do is you do need to hope, well, not hope, you do need to think that those fish are going to be out there. Otherwise, why would you come fishing? Apart from this glorious scenery and the sound from the ocean, from the sea. Sound from the sea. Very calm. Puts all your troubles away into a box. Not that I've got any troubles. Trouble's always round the corner though, isn't it? Thought I'd do a beach trip for you. Been going to the river a lot. I have mixed it up at the river. I've done Bay 28, done the Yellow Crosses twice, once on my own and once with a friend. And uh, I've done East Holton, which is the same river but further down. I think July time, I'm talking to a, had a couple of chit chats of a chap and he said to me, uh, give him a shout any time for um, meeting up and fishing Gox Hill or somewhere else along the river, which is further around the bend. So, uh, hopefully for Seoul. So if he can show me what to do there, that'll be good. Be a learning curve. But last few videos, yeah, I've been at the river all the time. I enjoy fishing the river, it's nice. Closest thing to me. But I have mixed it up as best I can. I'm gonna fish, obviously fish at the river some more, but I shall be going to, uh, some of the lower bays, got a bay 18 and 19, if I can get in it. Well, you're casting straight out onto the mud there, so that'll be different. Well, it'll be different scenery behind me, anyway. Whether I catch a fish or not, it's another matter. But yeah, I'm going to mix it up a bit of the river. You'll not always see me in bay 28. I always get drawn to it. It's like home from home. Yeah, I'll be back in a bit.
There was a bit of may rot on that, on that line. But as soon as it hit the tip of my eye, it just flew off. So it couldn't have been may rot, it must have been some different weed. I was bloody lucky there. Obviously it weren't may rot, was it? Because if it was may rot, it would have jammed up at the top. Whatever weed it is, it's good weed. They come up the line, gathered up in the top eye, and then as soon as the, well, I presume the lead not hit it, it just exploded. Because I was watching it all the time, expecting it to jam up, but have some more of that weed. Well, do I any weed, really? Anyhow, nothing on that, nothing on the hooks. It's Crab City out there. That means there's no smooth hands about. Ugh. Shall have to keep changing the bait a lot quicker. What I'm now going to show you is what it used to be like on Mog's, at Mog's Eye. The whole beach was like it all the time um, when I used to go fishing there years ago. And it used to be just like this. Now I don't know whether this is washed up from the shore or whether this has been pumped up. But um, we've got oysters. UK oysters, I presume. They aren't the great big Pacific ones. We've got razor clams. We've got uh, clams. We've got cockles. We've got this sort of clam. Pinkish clam. Cockles. Here's a... Um, a well, is that a scallop? Let me know if it's a scallop. I'm not doing this. I'm just showing. I'm just showing you it, sort of thing. But hey, look, that's a small sort of uh, oyster shell. He didn't uh, last very long, did he? So he got burrowed into by something and got eaten. But all there, look. But yeah, there's oyster shells, razor clams. There's a another scallop. Is that a queen scallop? I don't know. I watch fish locker, but yeah. Now these are either shells like they used to be down at Mog's Eye. Another oysterette. Some years there. Look, can you see all them ridges? I suppose each one of them's a year. Look at them. So uh, yeah. And it used to be like this all at Mog's Eye, but it's not anymore. At Mog's Eye now, it's like this. It's just sand. So I don't know whether this is all pumped up. They must have pumped it up sometime, because they've got the coarse sand up there, and right at the back is really fine sand, which is, is normally what's there, but this is quite coarse. So this is either pumped up, sea life where they suck all the sand off the seabed and anything that gets sucked up is then dead what a waste of life and uh, pumped up on this beach or this is natural so out there is razor razor clams and oysters and but I don't know Yeah, I just thought I'd show you that. Because I ain't got no fish ever. So I'm going to show you something, aren't I? Because I've still got no fish. I've moved all my gear up now. So my gear's there. Sea's coming up. As soon as it come over this top, it'll come down and fill this gully. And then I shall just edge up to the beach up the beach and when it's time to go home she'll head off home big welt there that's been dead a long while <coughs> slip the limpets
Oh, when will I ever find a welt shell that's whole? Welt on there with a slipper limpet, look. That's dead. Oh well. A welt with barnacles on. I wonder how old he was. Well, you don't get much more foraging than that on this coast as far as I'm aware. And it's all dead, nothing alive, nothing to eat. Let's hope there's more life in the sea. Pink sky at night, shepherd's delight. It's going to be a nice day tomorrow. Well, it'll be nice if these bloody crabs go away.
Well, I've uh, moved all my gear back, thinking the tide's coming in, which it was and is, and the time is 16 minutes past nine, and I couldn't believe that the tide's there. And the beach goes all up there. I thought the water would be coming up, up there, so I've moved back. And then I realise what the tide at time is, and I'm thinking, no. So I think this is it. So I might come back down with my gear. I'm a bit de I'm a bit deflated. A bit deflated really. I thought that I thought that it would come up and be in here, looping around. Because that's where these shells come from, I was hoping. They've obviously pumped that much sand on there. I've been to deep water there, but I think it's because it's still so light. And uh, you don't think it's as late as it is, do you? So, uh, said dopey dinner. I think I got here at about seven o'clock. I'm not sure. Probably should have come here earlier thinking about it now but there I've never fished here before never parked out on the road leaving my van there not done that before either and walked there so it's all a all a learning curve but I was just hoping the sea would come up a bit more there's a spit of sand out here look I don't know if you'll pick that up but down there the sand comes round and in, look, the beach is, uh, that's probably the place to fish. But it don't matter where you fish, they've they got to be there, haven't they? But there, the water's come up higher. So they've obviously built this up here, haven't they? With the sand. To give it a wider beach, probably, for for people to uh, enjoy and uh, sunbathe on. Why would you want a narrow beach when you can uh, have a big fat one? So uh, yeah, probably that's it. But yeah, like I was saying, I was just uh, with this much beach still showing. I should have looked down there really and thought. Mm. And another thing, this might this might have gathered up here because you've got a pipe that runs out over to there, um, and it's got a load of gobble over it and rocks to protect it, where those bits sticking out of the sander then pipes pipe right there I think it's just for a drain for the land fresh water so uh, perhaps the sand builds up here as well because of that I did think about going into the corner there and just fishing in short because anything that goes in there is going to get trapped in there or it's going to be a, a feature to stop fish moving and perhaps that's somewhere to cast into to catch Next time I come over it here, come here, I'll probably try fishing in there. You don't have to get spooky on a beach when it starts getting, well, not now, but you hear things, don't you? It's like being in a wood. You never look up in the, to the trees in a wood at night because you start seeing faces and stuff. So, yeah, next time I come here, I might cast in there and fish in close. And... No, I'm not going down there. There is, on the main road, another place, and I think it is up there, actually, where you can park and then walk over. I think there's a path up the golf course, and you can, so you could fish up there. That could be another try, another, another trip, couldn't it? And another trip here will be, I shall come here an hour after low water and just fish it back. So anyway, let's reel this in and see what's there. I don't think there is anything there.
That's the first one I've reeled in that has uh, still got bait on it, so uh, perhaps the crabs are going. Perhaps the crabs are gone and the smooth hounds are coming in. Yeah, that one's out, cast that one out short. So I've got one out long, one out short. Quite chuffed there was the uh, bait still left on it. I think I better move all my gear forward now, because uh, it's high tide now. <laughs> hmm. Didn't read the beach there, did I? Mind you, first time there. Shame really, it's, it, the time's just gone. I left the duds getting the bait. I left him at whew, yeah, six thirty-six. It was on five o'clock on my car van, and uh, and uh, it's a bit strange, really. I left my house at half four, so half five, half six. I I figured it would take two hours to get down to there and get my bait, but then obviously you have to drive there, don't you? So. Uh, Check the caban doors 20 times because the bag. Well, ran out of battery there. I don't know where, I ain't gone back and looked at it. I ain't got time on the beach when you're fishing. But I, it was 6.36 when I left Duds to get here. Must have got here about seven. So I've had two and a half hours 
because it's high tide now. Um, fishing, it's just gone just like that because you're setting up and then you... So I probably only had two hours fishing. And I was sat in my garage today, just checking the tides, working it out, thinking, right, if I get there by then, I'll have three and a half hours before high tide. Well, that didn't work out right, did it? Went and picked the wife up from work, and then we went and got some tablets from the pharmacy. So I didn't have to do that, but I did. Probably that's where I went wrong. Probably a bit of guilt, really, I suppose, because I'm out fishing again. Just have to catch a fish. It's just unbelievable. There's got to be something out there for me. I don't care if it's a bloody Rockland on with a walking stick. I don't know what I'm, I ain't doing anything wrong. I've retied my rigs. I put new hooks on and um, cut all the rigs up that are past, you know, that have been overfished. And retied with new rig bodies, new hooks. The rigs that just needed a hook changing because there's been a bit of water in the bag and it's got a rusty hook, I've re just retied the hooks. So I've got new hooks, I've done all them. So all my rigs are alright, I'm, I'm on size 1 0 hooks to 3 0 hooks. So I'm covering all that. I've got 3 hook flappers, 2 hook flappers, got a cod rig. I've caught bass off 2 hook flappers. Still got two lines in the water though. Let's get upbeat about this. Still got two lines in the water. Three, four, five baits in the water. So I've got a chance of catching a fish, haven't I? It could be the last whiten that's leaving. He's the last one to turn the light out. That would do me. But that ain't gonna happen. All right. Well, guys. Now I said it, guys.
Well, go. I've got to stop saying guys. Cut that bit out, Tom. Guys, 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 guys. Well, I'm doing the best for you that I can. I'm going to have to move these rods down in a minute and move all my gear. Waste time moving my gear, won't it? Well, this, uh, this fishing's getting hard work. I don't know why. It's enjoyable. I'm enjoying myself. But it's just getting hard. I'm trying to bring you a fish. It's uh, not something that I'm going to give up on. But um, 2148, tide's going out now. And uh, I expect it'll drop like a stone. But, yeah, what'd you do? I think it's because I've just had a lot of fishing trips, like I said earlier. All in, uh, all in a row, and uh, each one apart from one. If you've watched them, if you've managed to struggle through, is uh, I've only I've only caught the once, so um, it happens to everybody. I talk to other fishermen, and that happens to them. It's just hard work, isn't it? It's bloody hard. Drive all the way here, put all the effort in, and then there's there's no takers, no takers at all. Yeah, I'm gonna get telescope vision in a minute staring at these wishing them to move yeah look if I don't catch I don't catch do I but um, I am trying to catch for myself really but I would like to catch a fish to show you lot I reckon if I was to only post the videos <coughs> post the videos when I catch I might only post one video a month <laughs> don't really want to do that you know this channel started off this channel started off because I wanted to well you have to watch the first episode to find out why I'm not saying it again now it's a bit morbid and uh, and then like I say it's become a bit of a bit of a drug and uh, you just want to catch a fish for the video really well in just catching a fish for the video that's wrong I want to catch fish but when you film it, you don't catch, that does put a bit of pressure on you. But, we're in the right place to catch. I wouldn't have much chance at my house, would I? I didn't catch nothing in that fish tank, did I? So we're in the right place. Tide is falling. We've got fresh bait on. Well, fresh frozen bait. If you're gonna catch, it's gonna be now for the next hour or two. Well, I don't know. I've never fished there before, but normally, a good chance to catch now. Some people only fish the tide coming up and say that only fish, are, fish the high water. But there's been so many times when I've actually caught fish um, in the ebb of the tide, as the tide's fallen, that um, I always fish the tide going down. If they move, just shout me. I don't think they're going to move. So, uh, yeah, you've got to fish the tide going down. It's getting dark now. Well, it is dark now. Sun has still got some rays. Don't know if you'll pick them up. Tom might be able to enhance it. There's some pretty colours in the sky. Yep. There's a nice pink sky over there tonight. <clears throat> Stationless rods. I'm going to move all my gear down to the water's edge now and um, turn this off and move everything down, set my stall out again and fish these next, this next hour and a half, changing the baits quite regular and I shall just uh, update you on my progress for the rest of the time of this uh, fishing session. But. For those that think that they know what's going to happen in this video, please stay till the end, because you never know. I might, I might pull one out on the last cast again, might I? Because I tend to do that. So anyhow, I think now's the time, because I do want to do it at the end. Is to, uh, if you like this video, um, please subscribe, ring that bell for all notifications, share this video, and any of my other videos. Go on there if you want to support the channel please do and uh, share the videos if you can uh, comment and give us a thumbs up or thumbs down I always answer the comments 
it might be a delay of a day or whatever because I'm busy but then I'll uh, sit down with the laptop or the phone and uh, answer your comments so yeah if you like it subscribe see you in a bit well here I am again and guess what and caught nothing I've uh, I'm down to me oh, turn that off I'm down to me uh, just the two rigs on me uh, rods now so I pull it in and um, I bait it up and send it out which I've done and there's nothing ain't caught a thing I've only chucked them out short this time both rods out short one to the right one to the left and uh, nothing 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 but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get some tide's gone out quite a way you see the tide was up to here and uh, now it's now it's down to there and that drops quite quickly that's an hour yep yeah. we're still making an effort look still making an assertive effort but it's an hour and it's dropped down to there so it's quite deep water we're in I think when at high tide we're probably fishing into about two meters maybe a bit more there's definitely crabs out there most definitely that's better I can actually see now Tom you're gonna to have to brighten this up aren't you mate I'm sorry that's as much light as I can give you. I think these little lights are alright actually because they light up everything for me to see. I think they last for about four hours on maximum. But at least it's not just a, not just a face in a uh, beach shelter. Which uh, at least you're still seeing something at night time. You can see how both rods are splayed each way under tension holding bottom baits dangling hard to the to the sandy sh floor tempting those fish to come and bite that hook with that prime succulent bait on it I wish that was nearly a good poem for me that weren't it <laughs> anyhow I shall uh Oh, ain't life hard. At least when I used to hit a golf ball, I used to get it into the hole. I chuck these weights into this water and never pull anything out. Anyhow, I shall uh, be back in a bit. Hopefully with a, uh, hopefully with a fish to show you. I would love to get a fish to show you. It'd sort of like make it more exciting, wouldn't it? But to all of you that uh, are thinking of. Uh, a fishing trip of uh, starting to uh, see fish then uh, watch for these videos and uh, you'll come to realize that there's uh, more blanking could say something else there there's more blanking than catching fish or well, there is in on there is with my fishing rods anyhow that's part of fishing isn't it don't always catch but you always blank Anyhow.
Well, I packed one rod away. I'm now going to reel this in, and this is the end. Um, it's been a great day. Well, it hasn't been a day, has it? It's been a short session. It's been about two hours before and two hours, two hours, yeah, two hours after. So, um, it's just been a short session. A 50 yard cast here will actually get you into about two metres of water. Two, well, a 20 yard cast will get you into, 50, into uh, two metres of water. So, of the it must level off at some point, but you are fishing into deep water here at high tide. Good, good depth of water, to be honest. You just need to have the fish about so you can actually catch something in it. But I'm going to reel this in now, and this will be it. Well, that's been out in, uh, it's been out for about 10 minutes and uh, baits have gone in 10 minutes. So, there's certainly plenty of crabs about. Uh, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. Uh, ring that bell and all that's malarkey leave a comment, thumbs up, thumbs down this is the end I'm sorry I ain't caught your fish I have tried I have tried so much I'm worn out and uh, I'll just have to bring you a fish in the next one I don't know when that'll be obviously it'll be the week after this one but I don't know if I'm going to go out anymore this week. I think I might leave it for a few days. And uh, just keep an eye on the tides. Um, yeah, if, if you've got to the end, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting me. Um, anybody new, please subscribe. But my main thing is, for all you that have subscribed to me, uh, thank you very much. Thanks for supporting my channel. And uh, thanks for being patient for a bad fisherman that can't catch fish but I will get there I will get you one and most of all I'll get myself a fish because that's what it's all about alright thanks a lot and uh, I'll be back in a bit be in for a storm at night tonight can I? It could be fish after fish couldn't it? This is the end. I'm sorry I ain't caught your fish. I have tried. <laughs>